the Symphony No. 1 in E-flat minor from 1922 by Sir Arnold Bax. That's Bax, B-A-X. And I know what you're all thinking. Your maestro has now truly gone round the bend and is forcing upon you some deservedly obscure work. Oh, no, no. This is... Uh, one of the great works of the what we call the interwar period, the 1920s and 30s. In fact, it was justly seen at that time as the masterpiece that it is. It was one of the most frequently performed symphonies of that era. Sir Arnold Bax was born in a very comfortable, uh, well-to-do English family. Um, he was like one of those brilliant young novelists, very gifted, very dashing, very debonair, who just, you know, effortlessly writes this brilliant, amazing first novel. And then after publishing that amazing first novel, spends the rest of his career trying to equal that success. Poor Arnold Pax is the musical equivalent of, say, F. Scott Fitzgerald, who left us The Great Gatsby. But you'd never say that F. Scott Fitzgerald was not a genius. Bax Symphony Number no. One is a work of genius. It is, as I've been saying about certain other works, like uh, Beethoven's Fifth. It is a work of a certain artist and time and place, which is so specific, and yet its message is universal. Bax, as I said, grew up in a very comfortable English family, but he basically spent the rest of his life uh, pretending he was Irish. I don't mean to make light of his, his career. He was one of those many, many Englishmen and women who were profoundly moved and saddened by the terrible conflict just across the Irish Sea. You know, you have to remember 1922, that was just about the time of the end of the Civil War in which what we now call the Irish Republic uh, separated itself from the British Empire. It's a story, uh, the results of which we're still, we're still dealing with today. It was the Easter Rising, that terrible uh, event of 1916 in Dublin that we now think w was the specific event that inspired the brilliant young Arnold Bax to write this Symphony Number no. 1 in E-flat minor. It's a glorious, substantial work in three movements. It's about 35 minutes in duration. Each of the three movements is like this extraordinary, it's like an Irish tone poem, something from the pages of history, a musical depiction of that, that troubled time that you just didn't know. The very opening motif, this just collection of a few notes that's like a, it's like an orchestral version of like a, an Irish tribal drum, this dum, ba bum 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 sets the tone of the entire first movement. It's music of in, in incredible richness, but also expressive violence. If you love the music of Richard Strauss, if you love those great film scores from the golden age of Hollywood and the 1930s and 40s, you're going to love the Bax First Symphony. The music is so dramatic, so effective, so succinct, really. It's a work of 35 minutes, but it's actually very succinctly written. It, there's not one note that's, I think, too much. And it is, like those great film scores, it is sumptuously orchestrated. As I said, the first movement is rather violent in tone. There's a, a gentle second subject, which is like Bax trying to write a kind of an Irish love song. The second movement is, the second movement is another uh, tragic tone poem. It's as if you're on the moors and it's in the middle of the night and you're in the fog and, and shrouded in mist and there's this feeling that something terrible is going to happen, and it does. The finale is kind of a hybrid form that in which Bax loved to specialize. It's a kind of combination of a, of a dance-like movement, a scherzo, as we say in the classical music business, with uh, a joyous militaristic march. So the opening of the third movement is, again, Bax, you know, the wannabe Irish composer, um, writing this kind of glittering, beautiful kind of Irish fairy music. And then out of this just emerges this new march idea, which then ends up being 
uh, a transformation of that very violent, remember that tribal drum motif I mentioned, it is now transformed into um, a festive march in a kind of a blazingly sunny E flat major. So if you've never heard this piece, and I'm betting that you haven't, you are in for an amazing ride. The Symphony Number no. 1 in E-flat minor by Sir Arnold Bax. Bryden Thompson, one of the great British conductors of the late 20th century, who actually was for many years chief conductor of the Ulster Orchestra in Belfast, Ireland, um, conducts this fabulous recording with the London Philharmonic. 